I kill you until you die from it? No, it's not the Iron Sheik. It's something much worse. It's the host of the worst. And here today, we're going to talk about the great, great granddaddy of the survival game. Now, I know I have to give a shout out to LJN. Because LJN has produced so many just totally shit games. Oh my god. I just... How did they even do that? Why did they even do that? Were they trying to go for a Guinness Book of World Records record of shittiest games ever made? Today, a retrospective on an LJN classic of the worst. Friday the 13th for the Nintendo. <coughs> oh, wait. That's the wrong thing. That's psycho. Oops. Sorry. Anyway... <coughs> Uh, it's, unfortunately, you don't get to play as Jason, which is the main drawback of the game, uh, other than the fact that its controls are four flushes, its soundtrack is four flushes, its gameplay is four flushes, and its overall design is three flushes, surprisingly. Um, there is an interesting dynamic in which you can choose to walk into the background um, to go up certain trails that are predetermined already set they deposit you at predetermined already set locations um which i don't know if it had really been done very much in a video game before that except through walking door walking through like doors <clears throat> but the main the main you you don't you don't play as jason of course as i've stated already oh you play instead as the stupid kids who won't stop fucking and won't stop getting killed and the point of the game is to get the sensible kids, who were the young kids, who had the good sense to have no, very little dialogue at all and no real part in the story at all, except to be rescued as, like, people in distress, I suppose, um, and get them all and, and just find them all before Jason finds them. And you fight Jason several different times, but most of the time his attack pattern is pretty much the same. <coughs> And, you know, I gotta agree, I gotta agree with other people who have reviewed this game. It's a terrible game. It's definitely the one of the worst games I've ever played. Um, the main reason I personally think of it as horrible is uh, the infamous glitch it has in which uh, Jason will actually appear very close to a child at the very beginning of the game, uh, resulting in it being almost completely impossible to successfully rescue all of the children. Which, I don't remember if letting one of them die results in a game over. I don't think it does. I mean, it results in a game over for them. They're gone. <clears throat> but it also results in a blessed release from this horrid video game for them, because they're gone. And Jason didn't seem to think much about that or anything else, really, when he signed himself up for this insanely stupid video game. So, tonight, for a medical experiment, we're going. I am going to try and give this game a positive review. I don't know if it's going to work. I'm not sure it's going to work. I'm about 100% sure it's not going to work. But we're going to try it anyway. Because that's what we do here at the worst. <sighs> we try things. And we hope they work. And sometimes they don't. <laughs> this game... I can't think of a single positive thing about this game. <clears throat> I mean, I just... I can't. I can't. None of the characters are very memorable at all. They're 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 eight bit, just shitty as hell, poorly drawn characters. That I, I mean, it's obvious which ones are boys and girls, but uh, they just they suck. Period. Um, they jump, they run. Uh, there's not really that much difference between them statistically, mechanically. They're not really that much different. Um, you know, there are some, of course, who are a lot better off in a certain thing than everybody else. And I, I, I couldn't, I, even I could not force myself to, to torture myself into playing this game for long enough to discover certain details about the game. Because it's just so bad, I just, I wanted Jason to find me in the room. I wanted him to come through that door, right there, right now, zing, and then stab me in the back. Because I wanted to die rather than play this game. But, my faith to you, my viewer... It's so strong that I decided not to ask Jason to kill me. Instead, I tried to kill Jason in the video game. Succeeded. Got a shitty ending that's not even remotely even pretending to be close to worth 
a damn period ever. People who have never had any contact with a video game at all uh, could play this game and then die from shock at how horrid it is. It's that bad. It, it's so bad, actually. It's, it's so bad that I'm amazed that it didn't actually cause deaths of people who played the game. Which, fun fact of the hour, um, <clears throat> there was actually a video game death in which a video game accidentally caused a seizure. Uh, it was uh, in the early 80s and its name was Berserk. Um, it was a much better video game than anything LJN ever made. Um, and the game featured heavily flashing lights, which is one of the reasons games that feature flashing lights now have a warning stating that they do. Um, but that's neither here nor there, and it's not really related to Jason Voorhees killing kids in the woods. Uh, the game is, is, I mean, there's some elements of puzzle solving to it, but not much really. Um, you find certain clues, you find letters. Uh, I'm not going to give the ending away for you, but it's not worth even trying to bother with. Look it up on the internet. Don't torture yourself playing this game. I promise you, uh, Jason killing you would be less painful than one second of this video game. It would be less painful than one fiftieth of one second of this video game. Yet I forced myself to play it. Why? God knows why. That's what we do at the worst. We play terrible video games and watch horrible movies and then we review them. Perhaps we're mad. Perhaps we're the only ones sane. Who knows? Who will ever know? Only the director knows for sure.